I lived the first 40 years of my life as an optimist. And it's a wonderful thing to be an optimist because you're happy. But your condition is not necessarily improving year after year. You're living with your fingers crossed, you're living in hope. There's a book by Colin Powell called Hope is Not a Strategy. I've not read the book, but I love the title. And I, I think hope is a beautiful thing and a dangerous thing. The hope that things will be better can sometimes take away the pain now necessary to take the important action that moves you forward. You know, I hope my relationship will get better. Well, it will if you take action, but if that hope and that optimism, that fingers crossed that things will work out means you don't take action today, then it won't be better. It's only by taking action that we bring a different future. Hey, Connor here in Seville, got the Seville Cathedral here behind me and uh, here to deliver a keynote at a conference tomorrow for a, a big company. Uh, on the airplane on the way here this morning from Barcelona, I was listening to the High Performance Podcast and I love uh, the interviews, I love the, the questions that they ask and the answers they give, but there was a guy, Russell Kane, I'd never heard of him, he's a comedian, stand-up comedian, and it was a, a sentence he said in the podcast, I'll link to the podcast here on the channel. He said, I've never met a rich optimist. And it stopped me and had me think. And I, I think I'm an optimist, an optimist learning not to live in hope, an optimist in, that is learning about the danger of the sense that the world will work out and using optimism to avoid taking the important, difficult action today. And the, the video today I want to talk about is the importance of taking action and the danger of being optimistic, the danger of your attitude to life being so hopeful that you just cross your fingers and hope that things will work out and don't do the necessary, important, difficult, short-term things required to lead to that actual outcome. And this phrase from, from Russell, I've never met a rich optimist, reminded me a couple of things. One was the Stockdale paradox. And Jim Collins very often talks about uh, Admiral Stockdale. And Admiral Stockdale in the Korean War was shot down. He was a fighter pilot, shot down, ended up being in a prisoner of war camp. And in that prisoner of war camp, what Stockdale learned is the worst possible outlook on life is to be a pessimist. The pessimists in this uh, prison camp were dead within two weeks because the pessimists entered and, and had a negative outlook and it was too hard and they gave up. He said, the optimists, the optimists lasted a bit longer than the pessimists. The optimists would say things like, we'll be out by Christmas, we'll be out by this time next year. And time would pass, Christmas would come and Christmas would go and you'd still be there. He said, the optimists would die. The, the people who got through this experience, the people that were able to survive the three, four years of the prison camp that Admiral Stockdale survived, were the realists. They didn't tell themselves that the future will be better. They just focused on what they needed to do today, on taking the actions that were within their power to take, on helping the people that they could help, on choosing their reaction to the events that were happening around them. And, you know, I realized I lived the first 40 years of my life as an optimist. And it's a wonderful thing to be an optimist because you're happy. But your condition is not necessarily improving year after year. You're living with your fingers crossed, you're living in hope. There's a book by Colin Powell called Hope is Not a Strategy. I've not read the book, but I love the title. And I, I think hope is a beautiful thing and a dangerous thing. The hope that things will be better can sometimes take away the pain now necessary to take the important action that moves you forward. You know, I hope my relationship will get better. Well, it will if you take action, but if that hope and that optimism, that fingers crossed that things will work out means you don't take action today, then it won't be better. It's only by taking action that we bring a different future. And at the end of this, the courses that I teach, I often talk about three important values that I learnt about life, faith, hope and love. And hope, hope is action. Hope is knowing that action changes the future. There's always an action you can take today that begins the change, that begins to change the future that is coming. No matter how bad the situation, 
there's an action you can take today that changes the trajectory of the future. But it has to be action. And the great danger of us as human beings is that we live in intention and very often our good intention does not turn into action. I intend to call my father. I intend to say important words to my daughter, to my wife. But it stays an intention. It doesn't turn into the action. It's only by dialing the digits that the phone call happens that things begin to change. So this quote, I've never met a rich optimist. Optimism is a beautiful thing, but not if it avoids the necessary important actions today that require courage and sometimes going through some short-term pain to get to that better future. So reflection on optimism, pessimism, uh, and realism. And, and I guess sometimes, you know, they, they say that people who are alpine climb, climbers, one of the things that climbing mountains teaches you is it teaches you very quickly to not be an optimist, to not be a pessimist, to be a realist. That you have to look at the things that are within your capacity to control and you control them. You prepare, you bring enough rope, you bring enough uh, carabiners, you bring enough stuff that you're not at risk. You prepare well, when you're there, you focus on what you can actually deal with. With an alpine climber, focuses on a meter above and a meter below where they are now. Nothing else is important. Nothing else is relevant. That's the only part of the universe that they can still affect. And very often in my life, I'm so busy being optimistic about 30 years in the future, I forget to be here now and take the action I can take today. So uh, don't forget in your world of optimism to stay positive, but take action today that begins the change of creating the future that matters for you. So, hot day, I think you can see me sweating here in Seville. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the hotel, go for a run along the river. It's the 1st of June. Uh, I've been running 100 kilometers every month for the last two years or so. So 1st of June begin, begins another 100 kilometers. I finished my 100 for May two days ago. Today begins the next campaign of 100 kilometers which I tend to do four miles every two days. So today, even in this temperature here in Seville, gonna head out and do four miles, seven kilometers. Anyway, thank you for your subscribes, your likes, keeps me making these videos, taking the camera on my trips, uh, thinking about what I'm listening to, reading, processing it and sharing it. So thank you for being part of this journey. Have a great one.